All right, talking with John Drake here, who's holding the camera, um, he mentioned the offside head, and my knight, Duke Drake, has lots of videos on how to do the offside head and several variations of the offside head. Uh, a quick rundown, basic gist is, again, it's another kind of fake shot. You'll find this at a lot of the high-end weird stuff. There's a lot of trigonometry involved in how and why the tip and the, the sweet spot of the sword go in all kinds of weird and random places that are difficult to block. But the main gist is, as you throw, right, I'm bringing my hip forward, I'm bringing this heel out this way, right? So bringing the hip forward, heel comes out, and I'm driving my body with this back leg. It's like we talked about in my earlier like shot mechanic video, same thing for a slot, right? But the key is, again, to make sure you let the, the brake here, this front foot, has to let you come forward a little bit, right? So, and then for the offside head, unlike the slot here, the offside head is a flick up, right? So you gotta kind of throw the sword up, and then your elbow is going to kick out and up as you lean up and it's going to dump down at the end so too many people want to do this like a, a straight back shot will, will work perfect here it's too many people that get back where you can see the whole angle so too many people throw this shot both horizontal to the ground and are lucky for getting a strike by stepping out you see a lot of people try and throw this which is super easy to hit but it has zero power because you're at the maximum end of where you can strike. So if I step out here and put my sword all the way out, extended, you can see I'm just to the dummy, right? But I can get there really easy. I can step out and touch, but it has no power compared to this. It has way more power um, on it. But it's also coming up, so the sword's traveling. You're flicking it up, and then you're kicking this around. Right? So, but there's nothing to really kick this, so you have to kind of pull it. As it comes up, you're gonna pull it here with these fingers. You're gonna pull it up. So you're gonna flick up here with these fingers. It's gonna flick up. And then as it starts to break and come over, you're gonna pull it up with these fingers. So it's gonna flick and then pull. And that's gonna be the kick on the elbow. So as it comes up, it's gonna go up, right? Flicking up and then over and it's going to hit right behind the ear so like if i'm throwing it at john it's going to land just behind the ear and the neat thing is like you can have people hold their swords further and further out and it doesn't matter because it's actually crossing the plane way up here so people tend to block out like this thinking it's coming around straight and it's not it's coming up and over here kind of like an overhead wrap would on this side right the back edge wrap comes in at this x plane this comes up and comes in at that X-plane as well. But what's neat is it actually comes all the way around and hits you behind the ear while moving straight. And the, and the thing everybody, again, messes up is they step out and then throw it kind of horizontal. And that's not how it works. The power comes from going straight in. And I'm not going to hit John, but I'm going to hit behind the camera, coming up and around and behind the camera that way. Okay? So you have to throw it here and here in order to get power on it. You can't throw it out and over because you can see I'm fully extended now and while I might go bip and touch that's all it's ever going to be is a touch which is why everybody says it never hits hard if you throw it right it it's plenty hard uh, for most kingdoms in most situations um, now the variation that I like the most and where I think this is most useful is actually what we call a false retreat use of it um, or the refuse offside head and what that is is it's a replacement step where I kick my feet back, but look, my head doesn't go anywhere. But you see it from here, I'm doing a false retreat, right? False retreat. And what's neat is, is if I kick my hip in, throw the false retreat, I can change the range from being too close to throw this shot effectively, because this shot does need to be thrown out here at C range. So I can be in passing through C, somebody's leaving, we've been in core core, they've pushed me off, especially good for that. You're, you're wrestling and somebody pushes you off, what happens? They push, their heads come down, their arms come out. So you can use this to adjust your range without having to move any of the rest of your body. So you're here, you've gone boom. Now I'm at C range again, but I'm already passing through B towards A. So that's where it becomes really, really good is we're here, somebody shoves me, boom, I land the shot as I'm leaving, and then I've got the full push and retreat. So I'm coming out of range. So from here, it looks like we're here, we're wrestling, wrestling. Huh. Boom. 
and I touch it that way. So best use of the offside head, in my opinion, is the false retreat. Or even sometimes use the same motion to throw a long, long slot shot as somebody's chasing you down or is really becoming encroaching. That same response because honestly you actually have more power going in reverse with this shot if you land it at the right time. You don't want to be while in reverse, but since throwing a shot is literally driving one hit forward and powering this, boom, I'm throwing that shot really hard and able to control my range because I can, I can leave a little or I can leave a lot and fall back. So you notice here, so if I go big, I'm rolling back and adjusting even further. And you can see how much of a difference it makes here. I think we have a line. Here, come over here. Can you actually see this line? Can you actually see it? A little bit, yeah. On the film? So I can leave here and throw it, right? Which my head is still basically level with this line. Or when I'm here, I can throw that and settle back. And I've just gained nearly three feet in range with just a simple movement. But I haven't lost any time on the shot because the sword is staying in space it's staying here as i'm leaving and the shot's already started as i'm kicking my feet back boom so i don't have to rear back and fire so i'm cutting the measure in half i'm cutting that time in half so again false retreat best use of the offside head